So in this video, we're going to find out if you can still get value for money over here in Mallorca if you are eating out. Now, I've just done a live stream here over in Calamillor and Calabona, and I'll link to that at the end of this video. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen this already. But I did pass a restaurant on the way up, which I quite like the look of, and I'm going to go and try the food there now. Now, I'm down here with Admin Anne from the Facebook group. We're both feeling quite peckish, so we're going to meet up somewhere in the resort, and we're going to go and check out this restaurant. So come on, let's go. But just to get a different angle on Calabona this evening than you would have seen on my live stream. Now we are literally surrounded by restaurants here. You can see the Nautic, the Paparazzi, the Tasca. All the way around here, they just do a full 360. But the one thing that is just so amazing about all the restaurants over here in Calabona is that the views that you do get from them. And it's these wonderful sea views. side here we, we see the Catalonia del Mar it's a huge hotel actually and if the hotels I'm mentioning in this video I will put links to them in the description a textbook below so you can go ahead and check out more about them you can also get a, a cost as well you can get a price to see how much it is to stay in these hotels you can also go ahead and book them too now in my live stream I did mention I wasn't sure whether the rope and anchor bar was open I've got good news for you. I did see actually that it was up for sale. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was this one, but let's go and have a quick look. Now, good news for anyone coming over to Calabona. You can see the rope and anchor is in fact open, as is the snack bar next door. We're just coming up around the back of the marina here. I'm just heading towards, I'd say, one of the most popular hotels on the island actually for. Uh, for regulars who do come out here to Calabona and I'm outside of the Hotel Calabona. Now it's starting to get busier and busier over here this evening. It's a Saturday night so I do suspect that they're going to have some live music later on this evening. You see people are starting to take their tables already. Yep, I can see they're getting speakers set up in there. Now, if you are over in Calabona, then make sure you come and check out the nightlife over here and come and check out who is playing in the Hotel Calabona. It's always a good night. Always a good night. Let's take a quick walk around the back. Now these restaurants are starting to get very, very busy this evening. I'm just looking back here on the restaurants at the far corner of the marina. It's absolutely packed. I think every table is taken. Let's head up this street here now. I know I walked through here on my live stream I to show you these wonderful restaurants over here out by the water. But I'm going to take a walk up here. We're going to head down the back, down towards the Hotel Sir. Now, if you are coming over here on holiday with kids, you may have seen in one of my previous videos, there is a fantastic children's play area over here. And it's up and running again for this summer. I seem to remember there's a bar in there as well for the parents, which is always good to see. Now, on my live stream, you may well have heard me talking about Uber. Well, look, here are the prices here um, for taxis. Over towards the airport from Calabona, you can see that the cost is 86 euros during the day and 97 euros at night. So if you're looking at Google Maps and you want to know where this kid's park is, it is called Fantasy Park. Go and check it out. Bring your kids down here. You can also get, and I can see that there's a uh, this little crepe stand in there so you can get some crepes. You can also get some cocktails as well. But it looks like great family fun over here. 
in Calabona. Also recommended on my live stream as well is this particular hotel on my left hand side. We've got the Illusion Moreo and I'm just coming up past the hotel uh, bar. It's absolutely packed in here. Now they do have the TVs on. I think there's going to be a game on at nine o'clock. It is Man City versus Inter Milano. But you can see how busy it is. Really great, great atmosphere down here. But it's not just over at the, at the Hotel Sir where they have some great entertainment on or the Hotel Calabona. I'm outside of the Levante. And let's have a look at who they've got on tonight. Now, I can see they've got the Want You Back tribute band singing the greatest hits from Take That. That's on at 9.30 this evening. Now, the fact they've put this board right outside the hotel suggests that, um, that you can pop in and actually see that act as well. Might have to go and check it out later. It's not just take that tributes. If you're into your German music, and I do know that I have some German viewers, look, they've got some animation on here this evening at nine o'clock. We have Goran, pop and rock. I'm guessing that is a German singer. I'm not too sure. But anyway, it looks like you're more than welcome to come in here as well, get yourself a drink, sit out in front of the swimming pool too. So you remember on the live stream, if you did watch that, that I came up past the music bar and I did say that it does have a really, really good atmosphere and it was empty at the time, but you can see just one hour after walking past here, the tables are filling up, people are coming out for drinks, the music is starting. But of course, you still have the legendary views over the sea here, down here in Calabona and check out the light as well absolutely stunning down here now i keep saying how nice the views are down here and you just can't underestimate how amazing the views are unless you're actually here now i do know many of you are coming over for a holiday over here to calabona if you haven't do check out the link that i have in the description text below this video to jet to if you book through that link not only will you get an amazing Holiday, you'll also help support my channel. Let's keep walking down through Calabona. So I'm just coming up to another really popular English bar, which I didn't mention in my nighttime video from last summer. I'm outside the waterfront. And you can see how packed it is in here this evening. I think they're waiting for the football as well. I can imagine this, the atmosphere in here is absolutely fantastic too, going on into the summer. It's definitely a place to come and they, I can also see that they do a food too. Right next door, we've got the fantastic ice cream shop. I remember you. So you might remember that I spoke to Jonathan last year on one of my live streams. I completely missed him on this live stream. So Jonathan, tell me what's new for 2023? Well, just to let everybody know that this is a central ice cream parlour of Mallorca. There is no other one like it. My wife is up till 4 o'clock in the morning making this. I have 36 flavours to choose from and it's Italian gelato. Italian gelato. Well, you couldn't want for more. Check this out. You have to try it while you're over here. Thanks very much, Jonathan. See you soon. They can see I'm just outside the Protor Alithia and we're just coming up towards the Atalon here. Now, I think they're gonna be having some live entertainment this evening and I am right. Check this out, that they've got an ABBA tribute. They've got ABBA again playing this evening. Of course, this whole area is open. So what fantastic evening entertainment you have if you're coming over here to Calabona this summer. Of course, you've got loads of choice of eating out down here and uh, the prices don't seem to be too bad actually. Of course, if you're coming over to Calabon, you do want to get somewhere with a sea view as well. So this is what I'm going for this evening. So if you're looking for cocktails, there's an entire cocktail bar over here, the Tropical Paradise. Get your mojitos and just about everything else. It looks super nice.
Okay, so you, you can see where I've come up to here. It's actually where they've uh, got this tarmac, this temporary tarmac down on the, uh, on the roadside here. It's not ideal, but there are a few restaurants over here. Now, they're not that busy, but I'm willing to give a restaurant a shot. Let's go and see what this place is like. Now, I did pass it on my live stream coming up through Calabona. I'm outside Mama Innes. I think that's how you pronounce it. They do a homemade pizza here for nine euros 90. So we're gonna go and check it out. Okay, so let's go and get a, a table here by the water. It's a lovely evening tonight. So I'm gonna sit myself down here and we're gonna enjoy the view. So I'm just sitting here, look, and right outside this restaurant, you can see that they're, they're redoing some chairs out here as well, some nice seating. Pretty very nice over the summer months. Looks like they just need to take the wrapping off here, but you're gonna get some lovely views from over here, this side of Calabona. So I'm actually really super parched. I could do with a canya, but I'm just gonna get myself a fizzy water because I've got to drive back to Parma later. And on the other hand, it's getting myself a drink. I love it. <laughs> Right, so just looking at the menu here at Mama Innes. We're going straight for the, uh, we do actually eat a variety of food that they've got omelettes and stuff here, but we're going for the main pizzas. So it says on the board, pizzas from nine euros 90. But they do go up in price if you do get um, other ingredients on the pizza. I'm going for a, a prosciutto e fungi pizza. So it's a mushroom and ham pizza, but I won't have the ham. I'm not in the mood for ham tonight. So let's see what it's like when it does come, but it does say it's homemade, so we're going to check it out. Fungi. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's everything homemade. So, uh, oh, looks fantastic. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. Check this out. Look at this, that proper homemade pizza. Look, you can tell it's homemade. It's, it's, it's not the perfect frozen pizzas that you get. And what pizza did you get? Iberico. You got the Iberico. Check that out. Con jamón Iberico. Urucula. Urucula. A little bit of rocket and I've got the uh, mushroom pizza. Delicious. That is amazing pizza. If you're coming here to eat out in Calabona and you are getting a homemade pizza, come here to Mama Innes's. But we're going to crack on with dinner now. So I hope you enjoyed this very short video from over here in Calabona. So the lights are coming on in the resort now. Now we're gonna finish off eating our pizzas and I'm gonna head on back to Parma. Do not forget to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, because I will have a video coming out about hotel entertainment in Calabona. But you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Goodbye for now.